I can only say uh, that I would be only comfortable moving forward on the floor. I'll move it out of committee, but I will only be comfortable moving on the floor until the FBI has done more investigation than they have already. Um, it may not take them a week. Uh, I, I understand that some of these witnesses may not want to discuss anything further, but I think we're, we owe them due diligence. Mr. And Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, just a minute. Uh, all I have said to Senator Flake is that I would advocate for the position he took, but I don't control that. Senator. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Senator, Senator Klobuchar. Mr. Chairman, there are other uh, senators as well um, who may be interested in uh, this negotiation on the Republican side. And there's not really a set agreement here. All of us had already said we were voting no. It is simply Senator Flake uh, working with all of us to say for the good of the Senate and the good of the court, the American people deserve to have the facts followed up on. And I really appreciate his willingness um, to do that. And that is what this is about. This Senator. is simply about, and by the way, if Senator McConnell wants to go forward in light of that, and we still have several senators that haven't said how they're voting on this nominee, I actually think this is very important what just happened right now. So Senator. it doesn't have to have an agreement. It is one senator who's standing up. Senator Cornett. Mr. Chairman, I just want to express my appreciation to Senator Flake for allowing this process to move forward. There's some difference of opinion among us as to what exactly the FBI investigation would consist of. Um, some of us think the, it has been concluded and supplemented by this committee's investigation. Others disagree with that. But I respect the fact that uh, not only Senator Flake advocated to give Dr. Ford a chance to appear in front of the committee, um, which was the right thing to do, but also that he's allowed this process to move forward, uh, subject to further discussions about what the FBI may or may not be able to come up with. But uh, certainly he maintains his right to cast his vote, yay or nay, as he sees fit, and maintains uh, significant leverage that way. But uh, I appreciate his, his support for a full and fair hearing for Dr. Ford and Judge Kavanaugh, as well as his willingness to allow this to go forward, subject uh, to his uh, his request, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Senator Blumenthal, I think I ought to All call right. on uh, Senator Feinstein. And then, if I, through the chair, could ask a question of Senator Flake, does your amendment include continuing the investigation during this period of time? Uh, if I can respond, uh, there is no amendment. Uh, I'm simply stating, and uh, the discussion that we had between us all is that I would hope. And I, I think we had some agreement before that uh, the Democrats who have been, I think, justifiably uncomfortable moving ahead uh, could, could publicly, in an effort to bring this country together, um, say that we would feel better. I'm not expecting them to vote yes, but not to complain that an FBI investigation has not occurred. And, and I, I, that, this is what I'm trying to do. This, this country is being ripped apart here, and, and we've got to make sure that we do dil due diligence. I think this committee has done a good job, but I do think that we can uh, have a short pause and, and make sure that the FBI can investigate. Thank My you. understanding is that uh, some of us would have to, and I'm prepared to do it, uh, make a request to the White House to ask the FBI to do that investigation. It would be short and limited in scope to the current allegations that have been made. Mr. Uh, Chairman. But, but I, I would just encourage uh, oh. the Democrats who we've talked to before to endorse that kind of thing that, that, uh, that we can then move on. Mr. Because, Chairman. Because of the two-hour rule, we're adjourned. What? The two-hour rule. Oh, no no vote. When did we come in? Uh, when did we, did we come in at noon? No. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, the two-hour rule. Yeah. We came in. Yeah, we knew you were going. We had to get this all done by two o'clock. Well, yeah. is it done? Is well, Flake's argument? Is it going to happen, or did well, he, I, you I, cut off a vote? No, we we didn't have a motion in front of us. This is all a gentleman and women's agreement. But I would assume gentleman and women's agreement.